Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, as always, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father name who the world ignorantly calls God, Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, which is his son, man. All right, which means he saves, he delivers. A hey, double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone that taught us this truth. A hey, blessings and safety to the elect. All right. And this is going to be a quick hit. All right. Lord willing, it's edifying. All right. Through the spirit of power, y'all, by Shimmy All right. And this is uh, the YOLO. All right. Which, you know, our people, they wholeheartedly believe in this, man. You know, this is why, you know, another reason why, you know, you know, they give all their damn money to the Christian church. All right. They believe, you know, you only live once and, you know, they don't want to go to a place called hell where you burn forever, which that's not biblical, man. All right. We're not trying to digress. All right. Just trying to stay on topic here. All right. YOLO. OK, it says you only live once. And it says is a phrase that means one should make the most of the present moment and not worry too much about the possible consequence. All right. And this and this and this uh, phrase, man, you know, this is something that Esau want our people to believe in. You know, you only live once, you know, live it up while you're here. All right. And in so many other words, man, hey, hey, man, be as wicked as possible, man. Don't worry about the consequence of you, uh, 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 the consequence or, or, or don't worry about the judgment. In so many words, man. And this is why our people. They live in complete wickedness, man. You know, they live it up, all right? You know, live it up, all right? Don't worry about what could possibly happen. You know, you're only going to be here on earth one time. You might as well take advantage of that one time while you're here, all right? But this is not true, man. You don't only live once, man. And you should be worried about the consequence. You should be, be, be because another word of consequence is judgment. And you should be worried about that judgment, Okay? And, um, you know, you only, you, you don't only live once, man. Okay. You know, a mass majority of the world, you know, especially these Christians, they don't believe in reincarnation. Re meaning back, carnation mean flesh, you know, back in the flesh. You know, they don't believe in, in that, you know? And, um, you know, I want to get a couple precepts, man. The first precept that I do want to grab is, uh, you know, dealing with, you know, the flesh, what happens to the flesh and what happens to the spirit. All right. When you die or when you when you when you when you uh, uh, when you when you so-called die, man, you know, and um, it's Ecclesiastics 12 and seven. It says, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. All right. Which is the flesh. And it says, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. OK. So when you when you when you pass on, there's a process, man, you know. Our people believe, oh, you, you go to heaven or you go to hell and hell, you're going to burn forever, eternally. No, man, there's a process when you when you when you when you, you so-called die, man. OK, your, your flesh, which is uh, your, the home of your spirit. OK, it returns back to the to the dust, to, to the earth, man. OK, and your spirit goes back to the heavenly father. OK, and why is that? Because now you have to receive that judgment. Okay? And not only that, man, the, the Lord, matter of fact, let me get another precept real quick. This is uh, the book of Hebrews. Shalakia. The book, of, the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 9. And it reads, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our own flesh, which co corrected us, and we gave them reverence. And we gave them reverence. And this is talking about, you know, our earthly fathers, you know, how we, we, we pretty much reverence them, you know, who corrected us in the flesh. OK, you know, as a father should, man. You know. You know, they, the scriptures talk about training up a child in the way they should go, you know, or, uh, you know, beat us that child with the rod, man. You know, you have a physical correction. 
you know, you have a verbal correction. You know, once you don't listen to the verbal correction, you know, then, you know, the, 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 the physical correction comes after, you know. But it says, furthermore, we have fathers in the flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence. It says, shall we not? It says, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? And who's that father of spirits, man? That's talking about Yahweh. Okay, he's the father of spirits. Okay. He's the father of spirit. So, you know, when you so-called die, man, that spirit goes back to him. All right. You know, and ultimately, you know, I'm not trying to go too deep, but, you know, that's why, you know, the Lord is not going to destroy, you know, the spirit of Esau, man, because it's of him. You know, he's the father of spirits, you know, and this is why the Lord can do whatever he wants to do with the spirit. It, it belongs to him. It's of him. All right. And this is why, you know, after Esau served a thousand years of slavery, the Lord is going to mingle his spirit within the other nations, man. All right. And there's and there's not going to be a nation called Edom anymore, you know. But so, the, hey, man, the Lord is the father of spirits. So those spirits go back unto him. But, you know, like I said, those it's a process when you so-called die, man. All right. Now, let's get a uh, second Ezra 14 and 35. OK. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter 14 and 35. It says for after death. All right. See, people fear what they don't know, man. So it's giving you the breath after death. It says for after uh, death. So when you pass, shall the judgment come. OK, so you go before the th uh, the judgment seat of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. And the Lord pretty much, you know, he writes out your judgment. And, you know, in three to four generations, you know, he sends you back down to the earth, man. And, and this is where, you know, that judgment play out, you know. And I use this analogy, you know, when, because, you know, the Christians, they teach that, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, the judgment happens to you, you know, in heaven or in hell, you, you, you tormented forever, all that nonsense, man. All right. So I use this analogy, you know, um, when you go before the judge, man, when you go before the judge, okay, when a judge sentences you to life in prison, you know, you, 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 you don't, you don't serve your punishment in the courtroom, man. She sends you, they, he or she sends you off. Well, it's supposed to be he, but he or she sends you off, okay, to a place where that punishment is going to be carried out, carried out. You know, even with, uh, when if they send you to death, lethal injection, all right? You know, you don't, you know, you don't receive that right then. You know, you receive it, you know, years later, you know? It get, it get carried out somewhere else, not exactly where that, where, where you went, like you, you know, they call it court, you know, that's what, that's kind of like what takes place in the spirit world. You know, you go before the Lord, he sends you, you know, he gives you a judgment in three to four generations. He sends you back to earth for that judgment to play out. All right. But it says for at the death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. All right. When we shall live again, reincarnation back in the flesh, man, it says, when we shall live again, and then shall the name of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared, man. Damn. So that's the point, man. You know, you don't only live once, okay? And you should be concerned with the judgment because you're going to get it. You're, you're going to receive it. You know, you're going to get it. <laughs> you know? And, um... So uh, let me get another precept uh, real quick. Uh, Shalakia, about to pull into work. Let's get Ecclesiastics. Matter of fact, we'll close here. Ecclesiastics uh, 3 and um, we're going to start at 15, all right? It says, that which has been is now, and that which is to be. It to be have already been and Yahweh requireth, which is past, man. Yeah, the Lord requireth to pass. You know, he the Lord lets nothing escape, man. 
you know? And this is, a, you know, more of a reason why, you know, the things that Esau done unto us is, is not going to be looked over by the Lord, man. Esau has to pay for that. You know, this is why he has to go into, you know, slavery. In, in our kingdom, he's going to be in slavery, you know? Our heaven is going to be his hell, just like his heaven is, is, is our hell. You know, those are living, 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 living the conditions. All right. So, yeah, the Lord a hey, require which is past. So you have to pay for your past, your past, you know, not your father's past, not your mother's past. Uh, you know, your past, man. The scriptures talk about that. You know, the son shouldn't be uh, put to death for the sins of the father or neither shall the father uh, be put to death for the sins of the son. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. But. Verse 16 is the point, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Under the sun is the earth, man. The place of judgment. That wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So under the sun is the place of judgment. You know, this is why you see, you know, uh, people getting shot, you know, left to right. You know, this is why you see people getting into car accidents. You know, people getting into, you know, accidents at the workplace. All right. This is why you see these things take place, man. Because this is the place of judgment. And who ordains that judgment? Yahabah Shimi man. All right. So, hey, man, nigga fall off a, you know, baby fall out the moving car, man. Well, guess what, man? You know, that baby was judged for something that they did in their past life, man. You know, and the Lord ordained that judgment. All right. You see, uh, you see a person, you know, on one, uh, you know, those, uh, you know, those equipments, man, that, you know, that they be washing windows, the, the skyscrapers and then nigga fall off one of them and die. Man, who ordained that? The Lord did, man. This is the place of judgment. So, hey, you know, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. Uh, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shimei, Hashem, Rekha, Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.